Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Devin Haney, he signed a three-fight deal with Top Rank, which consists of two fights with George Cambosis and a third fight against Vasil Lomachenko. However, Eddie Hearn, who's been working with Devin Haney for years, he says that Devin Haney is going to come right back to Matchroom in the zone and work with them after he picks up all four belts. Eddie Hearn, he said his plan is to go and get those belts and then come right back. I want Devin Haney to become undisputed. Devin is a very loyal kid, but you can't miss an opportunity like this, end quote. Now, Eddie Hearn is right. Devin Haney has definitely been extremely loyal to the zone and matchroom, et cetera, et cetera. But the question is, how loyal is Eddie Hearn to Devin Haney? Because what I don't understand is, how did Eddie Hearn even allow top rank to snatch this fight from them that tells me that eddie hearn he did not want to put the type of money up for this fight that bob aram was willing to put up for this fight and we know when it comes to canelo alvarez eddie hearn and his own they changed their entire platform just to pay canelo alvarez the main thing that the zone was advertising when they first started is say goodbye to pay-per-view fights. No more pay-per-view fights. All you're gonna do is pay $9.99 a month and you no longer have to pay pay-per-view. And when I say pay-per-view, obviously we're talking about the $70, the $80 for a fight, right? But because they could not afford to pay Canelo Alvarez, they were forced to go back on their word and put fights on traditional pay-per-view. So now the zone is pretty much like HBO or Showtime where you pay your monthly subscription that does not include the big fights when you have to pay for pay-per-view. It just would seem to me that Eddie Hearn and the zone, they would be willing to make the same type of sacrifice to secure this fight that Devin Haney is willing to make to even get the Cambosis fight. Devin is signing a three-fight deal with Top Rank, not because he wanted to, but this was the only way he could get a George Cambosis fight. He had to once again agree to fighting Cambosis in his own backyard in a rematch. Eddie Hearn should have went out of his way to get this fight on the zone, just like he went out of his way to get the fight with Canelo Alvarez, the three-fight deal with Canelo Alvarez. Because if Devin Haney manages to beat George Cambosis twice and then beat Lomachenko, it's going to be a lot harder for Eddie Hearn to secure a deal with him because Bob Arum, he's going to be putting his bid in to sign Devin Haney to a new multi-fight deal. So once again, you know, the winner of this fight, they are definitely in the driver's seat. And if Devin Haney does end up winning all of these fights, and then ends up signing another deal with top rank or whoever else, Eddie Hearn is really gonna regret the fact that they didn't do enough to secure this fight against George Cambosis. We'll see if it backfires on Eddie Hearn. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram.